Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we will be solving lead code 1970, last day where you can still cross. In this problem, actually this is not a very difficult level problem. This problem has two concepts or topics that is combined with it. If you understand the problem step by step, it is actually very easy to solve. The only thing is to understand the problem statement very clearly and follow this problem step by step. That's it. So in this problem, we are given the number of rows and the number of columns and it will form a row cross column matrix for example row is equal to 3 and column equals 3 so this is the matrix that we have that is 3 cross 3 matrix then the problem constraint is that we can travel in four direction for example if you are in this cell you can go to this cell you can go to this cell this cell and this cell that is you can travel in four directions then what is given is the water is filled into these cells one by one on day one this cell is filled on day two this cell is filled for example on day one here this is not zero index this is one index which means one comma two means this cell is filled on the day one so this is filled on the day one so if you are traveling from the first cell so you are traveling from this cell. Can you go to any cell in the last column? Yes, right. You can go because filling this cell has it is not blocking our path. We can go from the first row to the last. row. But let's fill the next day. That is two comma one. This is also filled with water. When was this filled on day number two? So can we go again from this? We cannot go because on both the directions it is blocked but from this cell can we go yes we can go we can take this path and we can go to the last row so if already the water is filled on day two we can still go from the first row to the second row so day one we were able to day two we were able to let's check after day three can we go that is three comma three is filled this cell is filled can we go yes we can go right we can take this path that is we will have to travel four cells, but we can go to the last cell. So on day three also we can go. Next day, that is two comma two cell, which is this cell is filled. So once you fill this step, is there any path you can go to the last cell? No, right? So on fourth day, you can never travel from the top row, any cell in the top row to any cell in the bottom row. So we are blocked. Our path is blocked. So in the answer of this problem is to find the last day which you were able to travel from the first row to the last row this is the problem statement so if you're not able to travel on fourth day then definitely not on fifth or on sixth so this will be meaningless so our answer will be three in this particular case you have to find the last day which we have to which we can travel to the last day. so now let's try to there are two approaches one is you can travel with breadth first search or you can travel with depth first search let us first look at depth first search okay what is depth first search here is first thing is you will travel in the depth first as the name indicates suppose you are at this cell you will first go to this cell then again go to the next cell right however in bfs what we were doing is we were traveling to all the neighbors say you are at this cell you go to this first you go to this first you go to this first but in dfs what we are doing is we are going to the deepest cell first so here a depth first search algorithm will make search make sense more than a bfs algorithm right why because we will go to the last node first if you are going to the last node first then this will make sense suppose if there was any water here it will just take an alternate path and it will reach try to reach the last cell so here dfs is better than that now what is the objective of this dfs see usually dfs will be a void function but we will have a boolean function here because this dfs will be having an objective with that right what is the objective of that the objective is to reach the last cell so once you have reached the last cell there is no meaning in continuing once you have reached the last cell we will return true that is any cell in the last row will be returning true if we can't re reach the last that is we are 
say we are here and we cannot travel to any of these paths then we will return false that is you are you have tried all the options but you are not able to go to the any cell in the last row then in that case will be returning false so this is one of the powerful tool that we have to solve this problem that is the dfs algorithm all we need is three tools in this problem first tool first powerful tool we got that is depth first search what we'll be doing here is dfs is a recursive algorithm what we'll be doing here is dfs will call all the four directions again it will call dfs in all the four direction so that is what we will be doing and if the row or column is not in the range for example row is less than the zero or row is greater than the number of rows already present or the columns are not in the range we will return false in that case because it is out of range right for example you are at the first cell and you try to go to left which is not valid so that in that case it will just return false that is you cannot go then if we are already at the last row we will be returning a true statement because we have already reached the objective then this particular cell that you have already there it will be marked with y minus 1 which means we have already visited this node please don't visit this cell once again that is what this function is doing and for all the four direction we will call the dfs of i comma j what is i comma j that is the left all the four direction left right top and bottom so if any of this is true that is if you are able to reach the last cell in any of these one of these dfs will be returning true if you are not able to reach in any of them we will be returning false so i hope this function is clear we got the first tool to solve our problem that is the dfs the next thing is see okay we filled the water and we thought that we will we will we be able to go to the last cell or not sir but the thing is who will fill the water right you only have to fill the water so I, the idea is we will have another tool with us which will fill the cells and it will check if you are able to cross or not we already have got one of the tools that is dfs now the next tool is we'll fill the water how do we fill the water we are given the cells here right in the first problem we are the given cell in this order the cells will be filled so what we will do is let's check if after day one we are able to travel or not which was the first that was filled one comma two was the first cell so we'll fill this cell or mark this with a different number that is one and we'll check if we are able to do how we will do it we will do dfs of this cell and we'll also do dfs of this cell what does it say are we able to go to the last cell from this or this if you are able to go we will just return true right after day one we are able to go then after day two that is we will be filling this cell we will again be calling we will be filling this that is changing the row and column of this to one and after you are done with this again from this and this will be calling dfs if the dfs return true in either one of the case our total function will be returning true again after filling the water on this day and this day will again be calling where we will not be able to reach the pseudo code is very simple here but the one new tricky thing is we have to have a grid at every stage right we are given the number of days say for example you are given four days what it will do is it will fill water for the first four days in this case this 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 are filled and what it will try to do is it will call the dfs of all the top empty cells and if one of them is successful it will return true if none of them are successful it is it will return false so what does this mean it means that on fourth day you can never travel from the first row to the last row if it is returning false similarly if our input is five what it will say is after five days the water is filled you cannot travel further similarly if the day is equal to two what it will say is yes you are able to cross me after two days of filling the water first thing is we'll fill the water and we'll check the with the dfs which we have already taken but do we have to check for every day that is we'll d will fill on first day and we will do the dfs or we will call this function then again we will do the second day we will call then the third day fourth day and fifth day say we are able to do on third day and we are not able to do on fourth day this will be our answer right 
yes so instead of doing a linear search on all the days let's think about it say we have eight days and you pick up a random number that is you pick up five here and you are not able to cross on this day right will you be ever able to cross on the day six seven or eight no right if you are not able to cross on the fifth day itself that is our path is blocked the water will be more filled on day six seven and eight so if you are not able to go on the day five you will never be able to go on the day six seven and eight so we can safely eliminate all of this similarly on the other hand side say if you are able to go on day three is it meaningful to check on day one and day two no right because if you are able to travel on day three you will definitely be able to travel on day one and day two so where this is leading us is to binary search what we'll be doing is we'll be checking on the midday and if you are able to travel on this day we can safely eliminate all the lower numbers similarly if you are able not able to travel on this day you can safely eliminate all the numbers including the same number on the right side so that is the key idea what will this function do first thing is we will have a range that is the left will be equal to day one that is the first day and what will be the right that is the maximum limit that will be equal to cells of length this is the number of days we will be filling water after that we will have a boolean or binary search where left is less than right and we will find the mid value and if you are able to cross on the midday our left will change to mid and our right if you are not able to do we are safely eliminating the right side of everything finally we will be returning the left so there are very similar problems to the problem that we discussed here and if you have any doubts regarding these problems or today's problem please join the telegram group where we can discuss the solution or any doubts that you have with you so let's dive into the code the first function we have is the dfs function which will say from this cell whether you are able to travel to the last cell or not the first thing is if it is out of range that is these two conditions and we have one more condition which is we should only be having land there we should not have or an empty cell and if it is equal to one or if the cell is already visited we will return false that is the first condition the second condition is we have already reached the final row so we'll be returning true and we'll mark this as minus one to mark it as visited then we have a direction array what is the direction array this will be our direction array so we are giving all the four direction here and if we are able to reach the end cell in any one of them we will read be returning true and finally if not will be returning false this is the tool number one that we have got the second tool is we'll be marking all the cells in the grid as one that is we are filling up with water and we are filling up till day for example day is three we'll be filling water only till day, th day three after that we'll be calling dfs on every grid and the condition here is we need not write this but it is good to write this why because if the first cell is only one that is we are Ha having water it is we, we can't continue further right so it is checking this condition and finally it will return true or false finally we have all the three functions combined and it would be very helpful to make this as global variables since it will reduce a lot of passing the parameters in the function so we will keep this as global variables then what we will be doing here is we will be doing a binary search where the left and right are the ranges and we will be doing a simple binary search and changing the values. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe.